Welcome back to PA Live. Tomorrow, January 17th, 2023, is the seventh annual National Day of Racial Healing. Here to tell us all about it and how we can get involved is Lejeune Montgomery Tabron, President and CEO of the WK Kellogg Foundation. Lejeune, welcome to PA Live. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're so thankful that you're here, especially on Martin Luther King Day. I mean, we all know that right now in our world, racial healing is so important. It's those things that facilitates trust and builds authentic relationships and bridges divide. So why is tomorrow so important for everyone to recognize? Tomorrow, the National Day of Racial Healing is the day of action. It's the day following Martin Luther King Day for a reason is because we know many people are inspired by his words and want to pursue the dream. The National Day of Racial Healing is about how to act. Many people want to act, they don't know how. The National Day of Racial Healing will highlight how this work is happening in communities all over. And at the end of the day, healing is about relationships. It's about connecting people to one another, to build relationships, trusting relationships that can help us bridge the divides we live in. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if someone is watching right now and thinking, that sounds great, do I have to go to some big event to start this right here in my community? I mean, what can someone do right now? They're called to action, watching this show after they shut the TV off, that maybe is a step forward in that right direction. They can go to dayofracialhealing.org and on that website, they will find conversation guides, communication tools, ways to actually have their own healing conversation. Person to person, within their family, within their communities. It's a real easy process for us all to engage in. And it's about telling our stories. It's about connecting with another person, through our truth telling, our stories, and coming to our shared humanity. And through that conversation of listening and learning, we get to understand one another at a deeper level. And through these stories, we can actually begin to understand how to create communities that work for everyone, that allow children and families to thrive for the future. Oh, I love that. Now, Lejeune, as we're wrapping up here, what would you tell the little girl Lejeune, you know, that in, in, in a few years, like right now, today, you'll be on a television show on Martin Luther King Day talking about how we can all just make a, a better world for everyone? Absolutely. And if I were speaking to a young person, I would say you can help us create the future that we want for everyone. You can begin by connecting and having conversations with people. At the end of the day, you know, uh, structures separate us. We don't have opportunities to engage in meaningful conversations. And it's a practice, it's not a day. The National Day of Racial Healing is the day where we help people see how, but the practice should happen every day, every conversation. How do you engage with people in a non-threatening way, non-blaming, not shaming, but really in to affirm their humanity and to give everyone a space to tell their own story? We so appreciate you joining us today and all the information that you saw on your screen can also be found at pahomepage.com. Lejeune, thanks again for joining us. And please, dayofracialhealing.org. Absolutely.